Next to French, Tara Oceans Foundation has started the construction of an astonishing polar scientific station. The inauguration of that Tara Polar Station is planned for the end of the year, after which it will launch a series of scientific missions over the next 20 years. The boat, which looks like a space station, will serve as a laboratory for scientists to study marine life in the Arctic. To talk more about it, uh, let's welcome our science editor, Julia Seeger. So, Julia, tell us. What exactly is this Tara expedition? Well, the foundation was created 20 years ago uh, under the impulse of a very renowned French designer by the name of Agnès Troublé, Agnès B, as we call her here uh, in France. And she literally fell in love with the beauty of marine life. And so it's really a human uh, but also scientific adventure. Uh, the goal is to explore the ocean to then be able to better protect and understand the ocean. And in the last 20 years, as I said, this is an exploration uh, expedition, but it's also a scientific expedition in a very big way because over the course of the last 20 years, 700 scientists as well as 100 sailors, 50 artists, but also uh, 30 correspondents on board have crisscrossed the, the, the oceans around the world uh, on this floating laboratory. Let's just take a minute perhaps and go back on these past expeditions. Plankton, mais j'ai vu encore la beauté de la terre, la beauté, la beauté de la création. On ne soupçonne pas la richesse qu'abrite l'océan, son peuple invisible, si essentiel à la vie sur Terre. Nous sommes tous connectés. Terre, fleuve, océan. C'est une révolution, Tara. Cette aventure humaine et scientifique collective. On est plus fort en étant collectif. Tara, c'est un collectif où chacun contribue. C'est très beau, Tara. Ça fait comme terre quand on est naufragé. Depuis 20 ans, nous sommes engagés pour l'océan. Julia, as you were saying, <laughs> so this adventure, the adventure is set to continue 20 years. The adventure is set to continue because there's this very uh, latest expedition organized this time in the Arctic, so in the North Pole. To talk more about it, it's a pleasure to welcome here on set the general director of Terra Ocean Foundation, Romain Troublé. Thank Hello, you for joining you. us. It's a, truly a pleasure. We just saw this incredible footage of the past expeditions. Uh, over the last 20 years, just to give a number here, the Terra Foundation has traveled half a million kilometers throughout the Earth or throughout the oceans. What exactly did you witness? What is your observation after 20 years sailing throughout the world? Uh, I would say we made, uh, when we, we discovered so much things. I mean, we discovered so much species, so much ecosystems that uh, were there since ever, but we have never looked at it. And so the Tara program and the scientists from CNI, from CEA, from the MIT in the US, from many, many labs in the world, collect came together to, to monitor, to, to reveal this ecosystem, which is invisible stuff, which is bacteria, viruses, planktonic organisms. But also what we've witnessed is the, the, the heat, the heat of the, of the ocean. It's really heating up uh, one degree already over the last 50 years. But this is something average. you can actually witness. Yeah, you can see it because you can see the species that are migrating more and more to the poles, looking for fresh waters, you know, where they are more adapted. And also you can see a lot of pollutions, and uh, this is really striking to see plastic pollution or chemical pollution as you can see in, in the Arctic or in the Antarctic. Uh, it's a crazy, crazy play, crazy how strong we are doing what we do. We're very resilient indeed. Now, uh, you've been dreaming on embarking once again on, a, on an adventure in the North Pole. It's now a reality with this next expedition. Let's focus on that specifically and talk about this new research platform. Uh, as we said, it's called the Terra Polar Station. Uh, why first did you choose the Arctic? It could have been any other place uh, around the world. And what are you set to study? Yeah, the, the Arctic is a kind of sentinel of climate change. The Arctic is the North Pole up, up there. In the up, it's an ocean frozen by uh, one meter. I mean, the water is fr freezing every winter, one meter thick. 
of ice on top of the floating on top of the water and drifting on top of the water in the Arctic. And so and this ecosystem is heating up three to four times faster and faster than the rest of the world. So it's kind of a sentinel of climate change. And we want to study there to understand better how it how fast it goes, why it goes so fast. But also moreover, we would like to look at the life. I mean life in the Arctic in, in the thick layer thick thin layer, layer of ice, sorry. All the life that we have, have there, see, sitting there. If you melt this, we're going to melt this ice in the next 20 years, mm -hmm. according to IPC, IPCC experts, climate change experts. And so we really want to document that before we lose it. That's right. why we go there. So let's talk about uh, how far along you are in the construction of this polar station, because it does constitute, indeed, a technical, uh, a technological challenge in itself. Yeah, it's a three challenge. It means a technical challenge, it's a scientific challenge, and also a human, human. Challenge. I can talk about it later, but this platform is already being built in Cherbourg, in France, in the in Construction Mécanique de Normandie, CMN shipyard, where we build the aluminium vessel, very strong, super strong, super complex to build because it's in shape, you know, it's not mm -hmm. square angles, it's all everything is round to escape the pressure of the ice in, in, on, on the hull in the future, not to be crushed up by the ice. And so we are somehow at mid, at the mid term of the building now, and uh, this will be splashed in the water, and uh, and Christian in after Christmas, around Christmas this year. So it's coming up. So you just mentioned it's also a human uh, yeah. prowess. Why is that? I mean, we are about. I mean, North Pole is not far from here. I mean, the North Pole is as far uh, from Paris as New York. You know, so it's not very far, uh, but it's uh, very remote. There is no airport. It's only ice. Very cold in the winter, minus 40 degrees Celsius in the winter. Uh, it, you are 2,000 kilometers away from any other human beings. So it's kind of a remote, as remote as the ISS station in the, arc, in, in, the in the space, in fact. Huh? So It's also a putting, long winter. Putting, yeah, it's long dark. winter. It's a six-month <laughs> winter, five months dark. Uh, yeah, and there is polar bears, of course, and, there is, and the ice is moving away. And ev everything you, that in the Arctic drifts about 10 kilometers per day. So you don't realize, but you move 10 kilometers per day when you are in the Arctic on this station in the future. Now, you often alert about the, the harmful effects of global warming, of course, and, and you call on people to, to mobilize, to change their lifestyles. But at the same time, we often hear from you that we need to communicate on the resilience and the regenerative power of nature. Why is it important to, uh, to, to carry that message as well? Well, I think we, never, we really need to never forget what we're fighting for. And uh, we're fighting for this planet. We're fighting for our well-being on this planet as human beings. And uh, and you have to see the solutions. And you have to see the, the what will come out of your actions. And uh, what I see in the ocean over the last 20 years, I I each time you release a pressure from the ocean, release a, pro a pollution, you release the heat uh, on the ecosystems, you see the ecosystem coming back like it was nothing was uh, nearly nothing happened before. So there is a, a very good payback when you move and we dis take decisions. When you make more science, more policy, more, decision, more good decisions for the ocean's sake, you see it within the next three to four years. So it's very nice to see that. And for myself, I've spent my whole life dealing with the ocean and its, its issues. I mean, it's, uh, it's my fuel, of course. Well, on this positive note, thank you so much, Romain Troublé, for speaking to us uh, here on France 24. We wish you, of course, and the rest of the team the best for this uh, upcoming uh, expedition. And we'll be following this, if, uh, if you agree, yeah. Brian, I on do, the I, science segment, we'll I'm be following. I'm looking forward uh, to, to seeing uh, Come with what us comes out of it. North Pole. Absolutely. <laughs> my tickets. Make the call. All right. Uh, that is uh, Roman Troubnay. Thanks so much for being with us, Julia Sieger, our science editor. That is so much uh, all the time that we have uh, for uh, right now.